the best riders back here. And um, I think today I'm going to talk to you guys about something that I did and I think that you should do if you plan on getting your unrestricted license. Um, and that is to practice, to practice. So, first of all, find a place with low traffic and uh, this is one that people use to take their um, uh, uh, driving exams in Portugal. Uh, it's used even in the exam, so that's why I'm taking you guys here. This is in uh, uh, Matuzinj, if you're Portuguese rider. And why I'm here? Because of this road. So this is more or less two lanes and uh, a berm, uh, widthwise. Um, it's on the decline and there's no reason for people to come here. Uh, some guys will do it. Let's check if that car comes here. No, but most of the time there's no reason for anybody to come here. So this is a uh, almost a dead end. And uh, let me just uh, turn the bike. Uh, maybe maybe I'll do it like this, so you guys can can check it. So okay. So if you ever uh, stop on the incline, be sure to put your left foot on the the lower side so let's 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 check this out so this road is an incline as you can see the bike is more lean over and uh, this is perfect for your training because of this uh, especially with a bike like mine and uh, i will i will talk about that uh, after this you need to clutch more to do a figure eight here to practice your turns because there's an, an incline so you need to uh, train your friction zone and do your maneuvers uh, taking into account the incline and this is uh, a great practice because it will give you better control of the bike and most of the time in an exam they will take you to something like this or even more inclined i did mine on a road more inclined like than this but i had a more powerful bike so it was easier to get more power but i needed to give it power because it was inclined a lot more inclined so let's do a figure eight and then i will talk about why it's good to do it on the bike like this so let's try so to start over here Look where you want to turn, go slow, you don't need to do it fast, and just do it. Use your rear brake, no front brakes, or you will dive, and that's it guys. This is what you need to practice to do your exam. You look where you go, you use the rear brake to keep your speed slow, and you just do it smoothly. The smoother you can be, the better it is. And that's it. It's all brake. In my case, it's also a little bit of, of, of accelerator because you need to give power to the bike because the, the bike will not climb this alone. Uh, and I can show you this. Let me just turn up. And then let's... Okay, so we are stopped. I will not give it accelerator, only only clutch, and we will see. And it's off. Let's try again. Little bit, little bit. It's engaging. And done. As you can see, 15 horsepower cannot take my weight and the weight of the bike. So you need to always give it a little bit of 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 power. And. Uh, why do I say for you guys to practice this? Because this teaches you basic control and teaches you to balance the bike at low speeds. 
and the bike at high speeds will keep stable but at low speeds you need to learn how to balance the bike and this is very very important because in a, um, an exam situation you will be doing low speed stuff mostly and that's a, a problem for most people because they are not um, they, they don't do that most of the time so since they don't do that most of the time when they do it well when they do it stuff goes wrong it's it's really that simple really that simple um, so guys do low stuff low speed stuff to get to know your bike to to learn how your bike handles that's one of the major things that you should do always especially if you have a new bike learn the bike learn how it handles so back to the topic of taking a license that guy what the hell did uh guys i bought this bike while i was while i was doing driving uh, lessons to take my exam uh, i did it for various reasons but one of the most important to me was basically to get a handle on riding guys it's a uh, this bike is not that cheap but you can get a, a cheap one to five um, you can um, you can basically um, if you have a car license in Europe you can drive this pretty much uh, immediately if you are 16 uh, you can only drive this so it's it's a great way to learn how to ride a motorcycle early in your career it's it's a win-win in most situations um, but the the main point is you learn to do stuff on a lower power bike you learn to do uh, clutch and um, and um, throttle control on a low power bike and that will allow you to when you have more power to identify what power you need to do stuff uh, it will allow you to understand that your uh, your bike is um, is is giving power and you know, how the throttle handles uh, way easier if you have experience on a previous bike and the easier way to get experience is to ride and the cheapest way to ride is getting a small CC bike if you can do it because I can tell you that my exam was done in not ideal condition examiner that was not happy uh, and uh, he, he didn't take me to um, to uh, to the to a, a good place to do my figure eights there was traffic during my figure eights and i and i have to to handle that also and i needed to um how do i say it i needed to to make decisions on when to corner and uh, how to how to navigate the the road uh, mostly by myself because he was not giving directions he was like uh, uh turn left and i was almost on the on the on the um, on the turn it it, it was from from my previous exam as a as a car guy uh it was it was really really uh it had everything to go bad but i managed and i managed why because before i took the exam i was taking a lot of of um a lot of of um of time uh, riding my uh, bike and as such i knew how to ride a more uh, a low cc bike with less power but i was able to um to um to extrapolate to a bigger cc bike without no with no problem and uh, the skills transfer over guys it's 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 a motorcycle if it was a scooter 
maybe not, but as a motorcycle with a gearbox, all of them work the same. You just have more power, less power, more torque, less torque. Uh, the engine revs faster, revs less. It's 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 different for every bike, but it's not that differ different that you cannot um, transfer skills over. So that's it, guys. Um, that's my two cents on uh, should you get a bike to to get your unrestricted license. Um, and my answer is yes, if you are able. Um, it's it's a great learning tool. Uh, I said it before on the reviews. This bike, especially this one, um, it, it's it, it, if you want to keep this bike forever, this is a forever bike for for some people uh, because it's it's on the limit of what you can do with a one to five license. It's it's that good, uh, and this is a naked so. Uh, you can basically live with this uh, with no problem. Uh, if you get a, um, a bike that's more um, more sporty, uh, you can and you will uh, change eventually, because a one to five that's sporty is not really a, a nice bike, in my opinion. Uh, it's good to learn. It's good to 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 ride a bit but it's not a, a good bike to keep a lot of time and that's it guys uh, I'll leave you with my spicy take on the on sport bikes on this category hope you enjoy it and see ya